From the Northway Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gare McKenzie. This local and regional news update is brought to you by Northway Bank. Get big savings close to home with Northway Bank's Community Sense digital coupon book. Filled with valuable money-saving coupons from hundreds of Northway Bank business customers. Visit NorthwayBank.com for more info. Northway Bank, with 17 locations throughout New Hampshire. The people you know, the bank you trust. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Conway Police say East Main Street in Center Conway is reopened to traffic at this hour. After a power pole blocked the road near Mill Street earlier this morning, a dispatcher recommended drivers use an alternate route getting in to and around Center Conway. New Hampshire State Police say the pole came down after being hit earlier this morning by a 40-year-old driver from Massachusetts. Sergeant James Fogarty of Troop E in Tamworth says troopers attempted to stop Alex W. Palterineri of Wellesley, who was southbound on Route 16 in Tamworth in a Dodge pickup truck just before 12.30 this morning. Fogarty says a citizen had reported being concerned about an impaired driver. Fogarty says Paltrineri allegedly stopped, or refused to stop for the troopers, drove off the road in an attempt to elude police, and then headed north toward Conway. Conway police assisted in putting down tire deflation devices, and even after going over those, Paltrineri allegedly continued to drive until he hit the power pole not far from the Conway town offices. He was arrested and charged with aggravated driving while intoxicated, driving while intoxicated, reckless driving, reckless conduct, disobeying an officer, and possession of drugs. He's due to be arraigned today in district court in Ossipee. Conway police say two drivers were stopped, arrested, and charged with driving while intoxicated this weekend as a result of grant-funded patrols specifically designed to detect and apprehend impaired drivers. Lieutenant Chris Perley says the focus patrols were conducted in the early morning hours Saturday and Sunday. The first arrest was made by Patrol Officer Sean Baldwin early Saturday morning, shortly after 1.15, after he stopped 53-year-old Philip Murphy of Main Street in Conway near the scenic overlook on Route 16. The second arrest was made early Sunday morning, shortly before 12.30, by Detective Ryan Wallace after he stopped 28-year-old Caleb Eugene Hollitz of Chatham Road in Freiburg, Maine, on North South Road in North Conway near Grove Street. Here's Pearly. It shows focused attention on a dangerous problem like impaired driving through the benefit of grant-funded patrols has a positive effect on safety in our community. It gives us extra enforcement officers on the street solely looking for these specialized offenses, primarily because those offenses cause serious injuries and mayhem. Pearly says eight dedicated DWI patrols have been carried out since last month and six of them resulted in arrests, meaning 75% were successful in stopping and deterring an allegedly impaired driver. Federal funds for the special patrols are distributed through the New Hampshire Highway Tra Traffic Safety Administration. Pearly says the directed patrols, including bicycle patrols and speed enforcement, will continue through the summer and into the early fall. Friends and family are remembering longtime Freiburg, Maine businessman Howard K. Dearborn, who died Sunday after a brief illness. He was 95. Freiburg businessman Elbridge Russell calls Dearborn, who was known as Bud, a great friend. I've known him since I was eight years old on Lovewell's Pond. He's been a real important mentor to me over the years. When I was young, teenage years, watching him work in his hobby shop, and then over the years I worked for him, and then after I came back from flying in the Navy, I flew his company plane for him. We had a lot of adventures together, going places and doing things, and nothing but great memories about a true leader. Russell says Dearborn started a plant near Cleveland, Ohio in 1939 and left his son Kenneth to run it when he was 48 and moved to Freiburg. In Freiburg, he started a hobby shop that eventually grew into Dearborn Precision Tubular Products, a major manufacturer and employer in western Maine. Dearborn's wife, Verna, died in the early 1990s. He's survived by his son, Kenneth, and many friends. Plans for a memorial service are pending. In Sports New Hampshire, Fisher got Brad Glenn homered in the eighth inning and Gabe Jacobo made it home as well after hitting a line drive that was misplayed at center field. To give the Cats a 4-3 comeback win last night over the Harrisburg Senators in Manchester. The Portland Sea Dogs swept a doubleheader yesterday in New Britain, Connecticut, 
beating the Rockcats 5-4 in the first game and 8-3 in the nightcap. Travis Benjamin has become the first main driver in seven years to win the TD Bank 250 in the state's most prestigious car race. Benjamin led the final 46 laps Sunday night at Oxford Plains Speedway in winning by just over a second over second place finisher Joey Doron of Berwick on the 3 8 of a mile oval track. And the Tampa Bay Rays beat the Boston Red Sox 3-0 last night to move within a half game of first place in the AL East. In the weather today, the National Weather Service has issued a flood watch, a flash flood watch for this evening for Coas counties and Carroll counties in New Hampshire and Oxford counties and Cumberland counties in Maine. Warning of heavy rainfall likely today. A warm front across southern New England will provide a focus for locally heavy rainfall across Maine and New Hampshire. The rain could be torrential at times, especially in any thunderstorms. A localized flash flood threat exists. Otherwise, a chance of thunderstorms this afternoon. Locally heavy rainfall possible. Humid with highs in the mid-70s and light winds. Cloudy tonight. Showers likely mainly in the evening. Lows in the lower 60s. And partly sunny Wednesday with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the upper 70s. From the Northway Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gary McKenzie.